KDP recently updated how they do categories and also their primary audience. So I'm just going to go over this section here, but this video is going to mostly be covering the changed categories. But let's start with the primary audience. So this is on your contents page when you're creating a new book or if you're editing the contents of a book you already have. So for primary audience, first you have to determine whether or not this has adult content. This has been a question already, however, it was worded differently and at a different part in the process. I believe it was more towards the bottom, potentially even the last question on the first page maybe, but now you have this question here and then you answer yes or no. And then they also added this reading age, which is optional, and it says choose the youngest and oldest ages at which a person could enjoy this book. So you can choose a minimum age or you can choose a maximum age. So it looks like it goes all the way up until 18 plus and it starts at baby. So that's really interesting to me. That's something brand new. And if you go to their categories page, they actually have a section on this as well. Adding books to the children's or teen and young adult categories. So if you want to add your book to a certain category, it says here what ages you would want to put in. So to have your book appear in the children's or teen young adult categories, set an appropriate recommended reading age in the primary audience, audience section of title setup. These keywords are not available for books with a minimum reading age of 18 plus years. And then it explains what years you'd want to do depending on the category. So that's definitely very interesting to me and something that's new. So I do recommend checking out this entire page. They do have more information about the category change, as well as a YouTube video which walks you through the process, which is awesome. So moving on, then you do primary marketplace. So this is when you choose a location where you expect the majority of your book sales. Changing your primary marketplace after you publish may impact your list price, confirm your list price. So I'm doing Amazon.com because that's where majority of mine are at, but I found that very interesting. So moving down to categories, we can now choose up to three categories for our book. And before, we could actually send an email to KDP and be able to add up to 10 total categories, but that is no longer an option. So if you look at the top here, it says you can now choose three Amazon store categories based on primary marketplace for each title during setup. Since you can now choose your own categories, we are no longer accepting to add or update categories. Contact us if you're experiencing an issue with your categories. We can help the troubleshoot. So basically, we're allowed to have three now. And although we could do categories before, this is a completely different layout. So I'm currently uploading a scrapbook paper, which is why I have the scrapbooking category here. But I'm going to hit edit categories just to show you the layout. So first, let me reset this. This is how it's going to look when you first log on. So it did delete what the one I already selected, but that's fine. So I can go to category, and since this is scrapbook, I'm going to go to crafts, hobbies, and home. And then it gives me options here to select. I'm going to do a subcategory of crafts and hobbies. And then it gives me more options here, and scrapbooking is right there. But I could also click another subcategory and keep going down. But I'm going to go back to the one I was already at. So let me see if I can hit select one. Yep, so it'll bring me back and hit scrapbooking. So I found this to be actually a little confusing at first, but now that I've used it, um, honestly, this is like my second time really using it. It's actually pretty straightforward and simple. So now I hit add another category and it's just going to let me do the same process again. So it is a bit different and normally I would go to Bookbowl and use their category finder. And I'm not sure if it's going to work exactly the same way or if they're going to update theirs, but I'm assuming this is actually probably very similar to what it was before. However, there's no longer that nonfiction, juvenile fiction, juvenile nonfiction, no longer those categories. So I'm very curious if Book Bolt will actually kind of change. But let me look at that real quick, actually, because I do have some videos showing this is what I do. So I might as well go through right now and see if it's any different. And that way you all know as well. So let me type in something random here. Let's just do like food. Um, okay, so it just says category nonfiction cooking baby food. 
So it looks like they have not updated this yet because normally I would click nonfiction, cooking, and then baby food. But there is no longer a nonfiction option here. And if I look for cooking, there's cookbooks and subcategory. Let's see, what did it want me to select? Cooking and then baby food. There is not an option for baby food. At least I'm not seeing it. So maybe I'll just do baking and see what shows up. So I think Bookbowl is definitely going to have to update their category finder. But this is a brand new update, so I'm not surprised that they haven't had a chance to do it yet. But Amazon has tons of help for you. So they also have tips for choosing your categories right here. Choose accurate categories, add fewer categories, focus on subcategories, select eligible categories, and give your categories time to perform. Important, after you add or update your book categories, we will review your changes to ensure we provide a positive experience to our customers. We do not tolerate inaccurate or unexpected categorization that misleads or manipulates our customers. Your book categories must comply with our guidelines. This is huge because for a period of time, I'm not sure if it still is, there was a tip going around on YouTube about KDP and if you added your book to an unrelated category with low competition, then you could potentially have a bestseller. But that's actually, I believe, always been against KDP rules, but it kind of got popular for a little while and you can risk having issues with your account. So I do not recommend that. And it says right here, they do not tolerate inaccurate or unexpected categorization. So if you cannot find three categories for your book, then I recommend just doing less. Like it says up here, add fewer categories. Being selective with fewer categories that relate more specifically to your book helps readers find your book in their area of interest. So I wouldn't just add more because you have the option. And I do recommend trying to find three because the more that you have relevant to your book, the more likely your book can get seen by your audience. However, if you can only find one or two that work for your book, then I would leave it at that and not even try to do more. So they have more information here on how to update, how to add categories, and everything like that, adding comments. And I found this to be very, very helpful. So I recommend reading through this. And if you have any questions, I'm more than happy to try to help. But I recently just ran into this and I've been hearing about it, but I haven't actually uploaded a book in a few days. So this is my first time actually using it. And I wanted to hop on here and give a quick little kind of tutorial. Um, I'm still a bit of a newbie when it comes to this, but it seems very straightforward. And I think that this is probably going to end up being helpful and have our book seen to our audience more. I really like that they have these categories listed and then the subcategory. And I don't know what I just did, but we're just going to exit out of that. Um, so I hope this was helpful. And I'm really interested to know how you're feeling about this, if you're excited about it, if you're not. Um, if you're going to be using this aging audience part, I'm really not sure if I want to try it. I'm debating. I'm not sure if it's going to help or not. I'm really curious to know the impact that is going to have on books, especially since strap books, I mean, a baby's not going to be using a strap book but I'm not sure what age that would even be because kids can definitely strap book too. So I'm not really sure how beneficial that would be for this specific niche or niche niche. I'm just gonna say both of them. Um, everyone tells me to say it differently. So I just really hope this was helpful and I'm very curious to know how you're feeling about it. And if you have any comments or questions or anything like that, I will do my very best to help. So thank you so much for watching and listening to this video and I hope that you have a great day.